Hey peeps, it's Nox and my co-host Scott, <laughs> who is being surprisingly quiet. Yep, that's me. There I'm he, surprisingly quiet. There he is. And today we're here with a different kind of unboxing. But before we get into that, I do want to cover a few things. First things first, I do have neuropathy in my hands. can make me make weird stretchy motions sometimes during the course of the video. It's just me trying to get out pain, swelling, kinks. I am not signaling for help. Please don't send rescue. Secondly, I do have several people who live in my household, may not realize we're filming, come in and say hi. And thirdly, and most importantly, my channel supports LGBTQIA+. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> I've lost track of where I was saying. <laughs> My channel supports. I can't do this. I can't. I've, I've, I've. We support diversity <laughs> and inclusiveness. <laughs> and everything I usually list in my videos that Scott has officially distracted me from. <laughs> so, if that's something that bothers you, not that I forgot, just that what we support, <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to not like, not comment, and not subscribe. Just go find a different channel. For those of you who stuck around through this amazing start to this video, welcome to Punks and Crafts. <laughs> Hi, beeps. <laughs> so today's video is probably more useful to my creator friends, my YouTube, Instagram, Facebook creator friends, or those who are interested in potentially doing so. I am unboxing a canvas camera arm today. Now, I'm going to start this off by saying this be expensive. <laughs> Wow. And though they did not send this to me for free, I made this of my my my, my per own the, 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 the. <laughs> I purchased this myself. We did this. <laughs> we. Well yeah, you you know you know <laughs> more boxing Vanna White. Anyway I'm hoping though it's worth the price because a lot of the cheaper options I've had, well, technically functional, um, not my favorite. Comes with a few annoyances that I'm hoping to get past. So, hopefully, this doesn't carry those same annoyances. Or I just spent a whole lot of money <laughs> for no reason. But uh, well, there, there's a reason <laughs> to try things out and to show it off to you. And to potentially tell you whether you should spend a whole lot of money or not. Well, I mean, if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, you shouldn't spend it no matter how good this is. But that's just my rambles. And I used a box cutter in this and it didn't cut. <laughs> Scott, what's wrong with me today? You try to use a box brazer instead of a box cutter? A brazer? Yeah. Like, like to light a fire in? No. The, I don't know what you're saying. You can do an abrasion on the surface as opposed to... Okay, let me make sure there's nothing with my address. Yep, there is. And I don't think I got it in view, so... <laughs> Alright, so... It's going to be boxes in boxes. <laughs> this is the canvas uh, camera arm. And there is some base information there, including their story, blah, blah, blah. We're not here for that. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> hey, if you're here for that, they go have, visit their website. They had a story. They have a story on their website. <laughs> like a story I about- I am not their webpage. Creating today. I am not their webpage, man. You're totally right. You're not your, their webpage. You are a person with feelings. Mm. I'd be a terrible web page. Read. Don't ask me to be a web page. Yeah, like double clicking and. Well, that sounds nicer, but that's also not child friendly. <laughs> huh. <laughs> okay. So this let's video get. Video may be NSFW. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Let's get into that box though. All right. So look at this packaging. Let's see if I can get it in frame without dropping everything. Oh. This is tightly packaged. Whatever was in or is in here did not move the entire time. And it was ripped. <laughs> For its pleasure. Oh. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, God. This is bubble wrapped. And 
There we go. Sorry you guys can't see most of this. Part of the reason I need a camera arm is so I can get a better wide angle for my unboxings. <sighs> In fact, I'm going to take out this box so they can see you unbox. Nope. You try taking the cord with you. <laughs> okay, so first bit here is uh, the part where you put your camera, which the camera angle goes through the inside here. Oh, tried to open on me. And it's trying to attack me and the tripod. It comes with a LED ring light, bendy arms with um, coils for tension, and this can either fit as a table clamp or go into a big wooden base, which will be the next thing that I open. Lots of adjustments, more like your average camera arms. Also comes with the cord attachment to make adjustments to the light, which I'm going to put this off to the side for now so we can finish unboxing. I will do a portion of this video where uh, we film from inside that actual camera arm so you can see how well it works. Well, not inside. You know, we're going to film from the camera arm. Well, it goes inside the ring. So yeah, from inside. But we're not going to be part of the middle. The... <sighs> <laughs> this box comes with the plug, oh, the power plug, power which plug. is a USB, so you could plug it directly into a USB slot or into this. This is your table clamp, should you, should you use, choose to use it. You have an Allen wrench. I'm assuming instructions are right here, which I will get to in a second. Hold that for me, please. Yes, I want to know indeed. what's in this box. <laughs> There's too many boxes. There's like boxes and boxes. It's very meta. <laughs> deep. Very deep. Okay. So, more pieces to go on the camera arm. It is indeed a little book. <laughs> it is Scott a little book. Scott loves little books. Okay, so that was a selfie mode adapter. Thank you for telling me what it was I was looking at. <laughs> All right, so this tells you what should be in the box. It's not cabbage. And... That was a seven joke. That was a seven joke that I make a lot, probably too much. So this is the getting set up page, which you guys don't necessarily need to read right now. <laughs> All right, this is the heavy one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take the box, Scott. Take that too, Scott. Thank you. Ow. That is heavy. <laughs> How is it I'm lifting the heavy things you're saying now? <laughs> Dramatic ambiance? It's got it's a drama. Monarch. <laughs> King, queen, prince, princess. Duke. Llama. Drama llama. Okay, so apparently Scott's not good enough to be royalty. <laughs> and I'm sorry, it's an earl. Oh, okay. I'm a drama earl. I'm an earl. Oh, I'm a drama so, earl. Again, girl. really well packed in this thing. Wow, that is. <laughs> Whew. Look at that bubble wrap. Okay, that's, that's just a, like a ceiling of a Let's get that out of the top. Way. <laughs> that out of the way. Now, just I'm not gonna drop this for very far because <laughs> that thing is heavy. And actual wood. Yes, it is made of actual wood. Now, it is like 60 extra dollars to get this base. <laughs> but, the amount of times my camera has almost fallen over from the weight of my phone <laughs> in the arm, I thought it might be worth it. So you're telling me it's 60 extra dollars to get to first base? I need to insert crickets there because I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> So, should you not want to use the table clamp, this doohickey goes in here. And you have a little tightening screw, so you can decide how, if you want it to stay in one place, or if you want it to be able to swivel more. I tightened it, no it doesn't want to tighten because my hands are sweaty. <laughs> I have less sweaty hands than you. 
There we go. So yeah, if you want it to be able to swivel, but again, it's a little more wobbly if you do that. You can have a lighter swivel that's a little less wobbly or tighten it so it does still swivel, but it takes some effort, which but does have a smoother motion. All right, so this is the part where I'm gonna pause the video and uh, we're gonna swap over to try out this camera arm from a first camera point of view. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so we are back and officially using the new camera arm. I haven't turned the light on yet. So, so far, there isn't many angles I can get that my camera does not pick up the base <laughs> in the shot. Or the funk. <laughs> But it's not exactly an eyesore either. Yeah. And you can actually put a lot of decorative things on top of here. However, I did move this in all sorts of directions um, and way, way stretched out while we were setting this up. And that thing wasn't going to budge. There was no chance it, of it tipping over. I can tell you that. In fact, um, I'm going to scoot you. All right. So a little wobbly because my table's wobbly, but base hanging off edge of table, camera hanging off of edge of that, still not falling. So I think we're good on that regard. <laughs> so I'll put you back here. It does have smooth moving motion, which is nice. It rotates around this way. It was stuck because of the cord, not because of it. <laughs> I have microphone cords attached to it. It does go 360 degrees around, which I will go back to the other tripod so I can show you now that I've got it set up. I'm gonna move you back up. Oh, this is user error, not uh, item error. <laughs> so let's test out the light. I put a diamond painting down because I wanna know how bad this may glare because that's usually my problem with ring lights and plastic. <laughs> so on, so it does glare, but I have seen worse. You do have brightness levels. So that's as bright as it goes. And still going as dark as it goes and still being on. <laughs> so we'll turn it back on bright. It has types of light. Three different settings, I believe. Yes, three different settings. Okay, so you can get your soft, like, glow light, your bright fluorescent light, and, and your yellow reading light. Which I would say, as a crafting lamp, lamp in uh, to like film progress, or just show your uh, show your work while working on it. It's uh, good for taking pictures as well as doing video like we're doing. And admittedly, we have multiple lights on. We can turn off. Here, can you turn that lamp off? Yep. <laughs> That's up. Yeah, one more. There you go. There we go. I thought that looked dark. Okay, so this is just my overheads and the ring light itself without any assistance on its brightest mode. Like I said, there is glare. You're not going to avoid glare completely with ring lights, but not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Nice. So that's pretty cool. We can turn these back on now. All right. So I'm going to switch you back to the tripod so we can actually show off more of the details of the camera arm. We will be right back. All right. So I wanted to go over the individual pieces. This is the more exciting part. This is where it would hold your phone. It has a good grip, but it's also easy to get in. I've had some of these so tight, I end up injuring my fingers every time I try to put my phone in. Not so cool. Um, this, again, is a window for the camera, although I did take a shot where I had the uh, camera going in the other direction, and it spins this way, so that it was coming off the edge here. You can do that. This is a little snug, but it does rotate. 360. This rotates itself. Probably better in the other direction because it also screws off. So if you have different mounts, potentially you might be able to 
put those on. Um, this itself has a full range. Okay, maybe not. No, okay, yeah, has a full range between the two. There is a stop point right there, but it is covered because this side goes. And you have uh, three other holes, so if you are moving your bracket, Mm -hmm. uh, you can choose what uh, hole to base it in there. So Yeah, because each different phone has cameras placed in different areas, so you can have it more centered or on the other side. Thank you for pointing that out. I didn't catch that right away. And then you... Uh, the rest is pretty standard unless you don't already have a camera arm, so I'm going to cover it as though it's not standard. You have the tightening knob here, which allows this to move. It's got... A very wide range here and uh, there's no click in place spots so you can put it wherever you're comfortable it does move when you tighten it but very slowly mm -hmm. and so it, it won't move because of the weight of your phone you have to actively move it and you can tighten it harder I would be careful not to break the little plastic thing but <laughs> that's true of plastic yeah but this is actually a fairly well-made um, knob. I've had some that were actually pretty flimsy. <laughs> gotcha. Um, you have another one of those knobs right here. So that's controlling the tension level on this. So if you want easier to move angles, these are still going to provide tension no matter what. But if you want to be able to move the camera quickly, leave this loose. If you don't want it to move at all or very slowly, tighten it. And uh, you've got your tension coils down here as well. And as I showed earlier, the tightening knob down here to help hold this in place and control the side to side swivel. So lots of rotation points, lots of options on this. I. Uh, We'll put the total price that I paid. I did get a 10% off discount by following somebody else's YouTube and their code. I do not have a code to give you. If you want to private message me, I can give you the other person's YouTube channel and you can go check them out and their unboxing, which probably is honestly better than mine. I'm a little haphazard right now. I think Scott wants to show this off. Yeah, just because some uh, some I've seen some of these clamps be very flimsy. This is a full metal clamp, yeah. which is actually beneficial. Most of the clamps I've seen have been plastic. Yeah, they do have um, right here a um, foam that's on the pressure right here to help protect your table. Uh, There's nothing on this thing, and I will tell you from personal experience. Once I get it down, so you can see it. These can eat into the bottom of your table. I would suggest putting like duct tape or something to protect your table. Yep. Underneath. And then this serves the same purpose as this, but for the table clamp. So, and because this has a pretty wide clamping range, which some of the ones I've had don't have a very wide range, you can actually put this on a fairly thick table <laughs> if need be. Yep. So that's nice. All right. So anything else you can think of to show off? Um, well, you know, it's not going to join the Olympics, but at the same rate, <laughs> one of the beneficial uh, uh, points is it's got a good swivel arm. So if you're trying to get smooth motion, it's actually got a very good swivel. Yeah. It's not very sticky or bouncy in its spot. And then one other thing, because I saw the description on this, it actually will get really good distance away from that arm and still hold the base. Uh, base. That's a little wobbly. Oh, little. so you got it on a cord too. Yeah, and it's on a cord too right now. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little far out and in the other direction. So honestly, if you were going to stick it that far out, I would turn the base the other way around. But the fact that you could do that and it's still holding... Also, a lot of the ones I have don't bend this way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, oh, sorry. Just whacked Scott. They'll bend. They'll go all the way to straight at this joint. And I've seen some that'll bend that way, but 
I haven't seen a lot that'll bend in the other direction. Yeah, this one will bend the other direction. It's double jointed. <laughs> the uh, uh, diagram that they showed on the uh, video makes it so you can hang it over a canvas and not get the base. So, or whatever you're working on. Uh, most of the, they, sorry, most of who they're marketing this to is artists, um, cooking YouTubers. People who do things with their hands. Mm -hmm. Demonstration videos. I think yeah. this is going to be a really great, especially if you're diamond, diamond painting and want to have that uh, shot by shot showing of your progress. I think that this is going to be a really great way to do it too, because then you can actually move it on a periodic um, a, like set of angles. So if you wanted to do a... Um, charting in progress of your painting you can move it slowly over time and still have an uninter uninterrupted flow for it plus the bonus it acts like a lamp when you're not recording <laughs> high five i know so a little expensive but very very nice quality in comparison to the camera arms i've had so far now, I do know that wood base does come in different colors. I don't remember if that changes the price or not. Uh, and I do know a lot of them were out of stock anyway, so I don't know if they actually have them available. But that may be a time frame thing. Uh, that The one that I've got is their generic color, like the one they just offer generally. I know they had like cherry wood and actually that's the only other one I remember because that was the one I was considering. <laughs> but they were out. The... Um, the black color is a limited edition, which is still available as the time of as of the time of this recording. Uh, it normally comes in white, but uh, as you're not generally recording your camera arm, I don't think it really matters what color this is. And it didn't cost any extra to get it in black. <laughs> I just snagged it while I could because black. <laughs> and if you put a needle on this right here for your record player, it plays demonic music. I'm it just, just not, kidding. It does not. It does not. <laughs> Don't do that. It just looks like a very much like a old, like record pattern. It, just it does. It probably makes very... this smooth, more smoothly turn without actually causing scratches would be my guess. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show this off. I know I mostly show diamond painting stuff, but I also wanted to show off some of the behind the scenes, what you can use stuff. <laughs> the tools oh, of the trade as well. Before I forget, let's see. Right here is where you would plug in that selfie adapter um, mm. item that I had right here. That makes sense. Okay, cool. So lots of nifty stuff. At least I think that's where it would go. It's the only place I could see where it goes. <laughs> I haven't read the instructions yet because I'm too busy showing this off to you guys. <laughs> you know, it's great that we're, we're showing it off, but we haven't read the instructions yet. A lot yet. of this is pretty self-explanatory, so uh, that's actually really nice. It, it, it's not a lot of setup. It, it's, it literally is kind of plug and play. I think the instructions are more general advice on how to get the most out of this opposed to, you know, how to put it together. <laughs> anyway... If you have any uh, questions, comments, or concerns about this, I will do my best to answer them. Or you can also just pop onto their website, which will be down in the description box, and ask them directly as they're more likely to have answers. <laughs> mm. But you can ask me in a sense of, I'm not trying to sell this to you. I can just give you my personal opinion on how it's functioning. If you have those kind of questions, please feel free to put that down in the comment section, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. <laughs> do you have any more to add? Um, I love lamp. <laughs> Scott loves the lamp. All right. Well, if Scott likes it, then that's that's a good sign. <laughs> Scott's kind of picky. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> You've helped me make some really good purchases. Yeah, I put up with you. I don't know if that's an insult or a compliment. It's like a comp assault. <laughs> Sold to comp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thank you for coming and checking out our camera arm unboxing. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs down. Just ask if you do that, please leave a polite comment down in the comment section explaining what it is you didn't like. That way, if we can and are willing to do so, we can make changes to future videos. <laughs> 
If you're not already subscribed to the channel and would like to be, make sure you hit the subscribe button before you go. Definitely hit the bell to get notified that anytime I put up a video, as I do not post on any sort of schedule, I'm an agent of chaos fueled by the exhaustion of child rearing, multiple medical condi conditions. <laughs> There's some of them peeking out there. And an ADHD slash autistic brain. Plus, you know, Scott distracts me and I forget things. <laughs> so hit the bell. Get notified. <laughs> Otherwise, this is where we say bye, guys. Bye.